Welcome guys Zekrom here. Hope you all are doing great, and practicing those skill and drills which I teach you, and improving your gameplay. So today is basically the part 2 of previous video that is, reasons why your hipfire is bad in TDM, and solutions of these problems. I have already discussed 3 of the problems in previous video, if you haven't watched it yet, I will give you a link in description go and check out. And now, let's move towards our topic. The other 3 reasons of bad hipfire. That is sprint sensitivity, DPP view, and at last your movement. Sprint sensitivity. Nobody is going to tell you this, that your sprint sensitivity should be according to your joystick size, and the joystick size and sprint sensitivity is directly proportional. That is, bigger the joystick size higher the sprint sensitivity. Now I have already done every research on this and you don't have to do it yourself. If your joystick size is bigger than 130%, your sprint sensitivity should be from 83 to 86. However I prefer 86% sprint sensitivity, because, it gives you both movement and stability too, in classics as well as in arena. But the best range for sprint sensitivity is from 80 to 86% max. Don't go beyond 86% as it will only mess up your aim. Some people believe that if we maxed our sprint sensitivity our movement will be faster. That is true, but that movement is not stable and accurate. Check out this example. Now coming to our point 5. Third person perspective view. Most of you guys believe that if we maxed our TPP view, we will get iPad view and will get more kills, but that's only trash. Because of that, enemies will look smaller and you will not land headshots accurate. TPP view also depends on your phone resolution. The best TPP view ranges from 80 to 86 percent. I prefer keeping the sprint sensi and TPP view same, but, if you are a classic player set it to 86 percent. And if you want to rock in both classic and TDM set it to center that is 85 percent. Well, I would say that if your TPP view, is in between 80 to 86 don't change it. Because it will take few days again to get used to new settings. However if it's greater than 86, then change it now. Now coming to our last point. Say, that you're set your all these settings perfectly. And don't know how to perfectly move in a fight. Then what is the use of all this? So here is the perfect movement guide. Come to this box here and move one square box completely, that is going to be your perfect jiggle. Pull your joystick to the ends only, don't go beyond that, and don't go less than that. Watch out my joystick carefully. Make sure after you set all your settings perfectly practice these basic drills to perfect your movement and hipfire. Anyways I have shown the best movement guide in video, how to master close range. Those drills helped me a lot and will definitely help you, and it takes only 15 to 20 minutes to practice them. Well, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys have learned something new from this one. Make sure you watch the first part and comment down on what topic you want the next video. See you guys in the next one. Till then take care and keep training. And remember show your enemies no mercy.